on and you want to do a course review for you want to shift gears and go into the pga oh oh, do, oh oh do i oh do i so we're in um so we're at the first of august and we're having our first major mm-hmm. uh i mean i would tell you that we played uh we played tpc sawgrass the players championship but not really it really did it didn't get played it was canceled um but yeah, so we, uh, so we, and we've been on, well, we were in Texas, I guess, for the Schwab. But after that, man, we've been on an East Coast run. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and we're kind of, you know, moving a little out west. I guess we were in, uh, you know, we hit, uh, what did we hit? Minneapolis, uh, Detroit, and now we're in uh, West Tennessee, but heading to San Francisco. Yep, yep. Um, so, you know, there's, I I don't want to say controversial, but there's been a lot of, so we're at a public course again, right? And, and there's been a lot of noise about how, uh, Harding Park was kind of a dump and what, uh, right across the street, is it Olympic that's across the street from it or just down the road? Right. Yep. yep. Yeah. So, and, and, uh, I think they, I think they said that when they had the turn, when they had the PGA championship at Olympic, uh, they used Harding Park as the parking lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so you know, uh, but what it, I think early '90s it went for uh, I don't know, this twenty or two hundred million dollar renovation, maybe a twenty dollar renovation. But um, uh, let's see. So we're uh, TPC Harding Park uh, coming in at just over seventy two hundred yards. We got seventy four hundred from the tips. Another par seventy. Mm-hmm. And we're on bent grass greens. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so and, you know, if you if you've read any, and uh, thanks to uh, Fantasy National for sharing some of these uh, stats and data with us. So, uh, w- what are we looking for, and what's our strategy here? It's strokes gained on approach. Uh, Got to find fairways, uh, par fours gained, and uh, proximity to the hole over 200 yards. So as we were saying earlier, you're, you're, you're going to have, um, I think this is actually going to be really fun to watch because it's going to be, uh, you're, you're going to have two different players at this course, right? So you're going to have the bombers. So you so DeChambeau, let's, uh, we don't, we don't need to pull any punches here. So <laughs> DeChambeau is going to just smoke everything that he, you know, that, that he can. And I think there's at least, three par fours that are potentially drivable i'm talking like in the like 330 340 range and then there's one that's like three i think it tips out at 392 so i think it's so we are in san francisco so the weather you know we you really don't know what you're gonna get um you know it's uh it's definitely it shouldn't be as hot as what we've experienced over the past several weeks but is it, are we going to get, uh, you know, in the mornings, we're definitely going to get some cloud cover, you know, coming in off the, off the ocean. Um, is it going to rain? I don't know. Maybe. Is it going to be, you know, is, is the air going to be thick? Probably it's going to be in like the, what the seventies, low eighties there. Uh, so, mm-hmm. yep. so, you know, so you, you've got DeChambeau that's probably going to try to go for everything that he can. And, uh, you know, and then you got folks, uh, the Chez Reeves, the Jim Furex, right? It's going to be, Hey, ball placement. And, uh, and then let me go out and hit my 200 you know, yard approach shot and stick it close and make par and move on. So I think par is going to be, uh, is going to be, a lot of people are going to be happy with par on this golf course. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it looks fun, man. Um, you know, it's, I'm glad to see it's, uh, you know, that it's there. So. Yeah, we got a couple more things for you here. So the average green size, 7,000 square feet. We're playing it at 7,251, like you said. This recently went to Bent. Uh, you, you touched on that. New tees have been added to 2, 5, 8, 13, and 18. The land was actually a lettuce farm prior to the course being built in 1925. Hold on, hold on, hold on. When you say lettuce farm, does that mean uh, a marijuana farm? I think so. <laughs> uh, of course, was used as a parking lot in the 1998 U.S. Open Olympic Club, like you said, and then an operator under a city's very strict environmental commission uh so yeah ton of fun here it's gonna play long i think uh you know par 70 with this kind of square uh, this kind of uh yardage is gonna play long it says here acres of fairway 36 acres of fairway 70 acres of rough i've heard it's around four inches um yeah 
the mornings are going to be cold. It's going to be in the 50s in the morning. And then it's going to, it's going to get up and probably in the 70s in the afternoon, maybe the 80s, like you said. But definitely going to be cold in the morning. So you, th- you, and, think, uh, you think Tiger and Day already sent the note that said, uh, don't, I don't want to be with Brooks or Bryson, <laughs> and uh, we need afternoon tea times. Well I, think, well, I think Brooks might have some problems, too, with that knee. <laughs> yeah, so, he, he will when Bryson gets old in his ass. <laughs> it's flat. I've heard it's flat. So right. the knee shouldn't yeah. be much of a problem from the flat, but definitely Tiger and Day with that back. It's like, oof. Well, man, no, I'm, I I, no, I'm talking about you know, he and Bryson doing the uh, getting a little figure four out there going on, a little wrestling match. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, no, it should be a lot of fun. I think, you know, in terms of the strategy, I'm really looking at uh, ball strikers here, which, hey, every course is a ball strikers course. I'm looking for the long guys here. Looking for the long guys that are that are very um, accurate off the tee and have a good approach shot. That's what I mean by ball striking. So I'm look. I think they're going to have an advantage this week, but you got to be good off the tee, and that you can't be like Bryson not all the time. But yeah. hitting the ball into the rough, it's going to be tough with this four inch rough out there. So yeah. Well, there's yeah. another a tricky hole out there. That's uh, just trying to pull it up here real quick. So. Uh, it's like a 250 yard. Well, so they've got it carded at 230, 230 yard par three, which I, I mean, I understand, you know, those guys can hit, uh, you know, they can hit six iron 230, depending on elevation and wind changes. But um, I think our guy, uh, Michael, when uh, you guys were talking on uh, Twitter the other day, I was watching some of his videos. Yeah. And I think he was saying it was like tipped out at 254. Mm. So like 254. Uh, for a par three, I mean that's going to give uh, that, that that's going to be a little challenging for some of these folks. So I'm I'm really excited to to see what happens here, man. I, I think it's going to be awesome. So yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm definitely going longer off the tee uh, with the strategy. Uh, good ball strikers. These greens are going to play fast. Um, I think they're definitely trying to do that. Uh, but um, well, that's say hey, so. That's the other thing to consider. So I know you said that uh, you know they recently converted this over to bent grass, mm-hmm. but you know when this was originally supposed to be played in like uh, what like uh, June maybe or April, it, it was it was definitely earlier, and so even even colder out there. Mm-hmm. Uh, it may have even been in March or or, uh, or April, but uh, but it was definitely going to be cold. Um, it was uh, the course would have played probably a little softer. Yeah. Um, and and now you know we're coming into this thing in August, and I don't, you know, I'm sure it's not burned out, but it's definitely going to play harder and yep. longer. So it's yep. you know whatever people's mindset and strategy was when this the original schedule was there, and now you know coming in you know late dog days of summer. Here we go, man. I mean they, it's it's a completely different course strategy. So. Yep. Uh, defending champion, Mr. Kepka for the second week in a row, defending his champion. Uh, yeah. and I'll tell you one thing right now. So, uh, number one, Kepka not my lineup, but just the way we were picking on him. Cause we, we like to have fun guys. Whenever we're picking on somebody, it's because we're having fun with them. It's not with Ricky or Kepka or any of those guys. We have we love those guys. Uh, it's just about having fun and being entertaining. And if uh, if you take offense to it, we're sorry. Uh, but, I don't I don't know why he's apologizing. We're not sorry, and we mean everything. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, with Kepka, Mister Mister Major, definitely been uh, trying to peak coming into this thing, right? So if you look at what he yep. did at three M, he was not far behind uh, Dustin in terms of wheels <laughs> up. Yeah, I'll watch, hey, Chase, I'll watch you. I'll watch you from uh, South Florida, buddy. Right. Um, and then, you know, last week uh, in contention. So is yeah. he, is he the Sylvester, Sylvester Stallone of, uh, of the PGA with uh, over the top and the hat? Oh, it's like a switch. Oh, oh yeah. It's you like just, a you switch. Just, you, just turn, you just turn it on, man. You turn it on and <laughs> something happens. It's like a I, switch. I don't know. So you've got 2019 Kepka, Kepka 2018 Kepka. If, interesting enough, 2017 Justin Thomas, mm. uh, 2016 Jimmy Walker, no chance there, and 2015 you got Jason Day. Well, I mean, it, that, no offense. I mean, I like Jimmy, but it's like he, you know, he's uh, he's working on his uh, bourbon and barbecue T-shirts. He's not really, uh, he's not concerned about playing golf right now. But you got, J- but you got. And Jason. I'm okay with that. And I'm okay yeah. with that. <laughs> hey, <laughs> bourbon and barbecue, right up my alley. Uh, but then you got Jason Day of 2015, and as we mentioned earlier, like Jason Day is coming in sneaky good, man. I, I definitely like Jason Day for a top ten in this one. So, uh, so that, th- those are previous winners. We're going to disagree on that, but that's okay. Just because no, of the back, you, with, the, with the weather. 
the uh, women in the back. Yeah, I, I'm with you. So here's some notable withdrawals. Excuse me. So Padraig Harrington, I say notable. It's like as notable as they can be, but uh, I don't think anybody really. Eh, a couple people. Uh, Padraig Harrington, uh, Paul Waring, J.B. Holmes, CH36, Brandon Grace, John Daly, VJ Singh. Hey, the Corn Ferry Tour called. <laughs> hey, hey, VJ. Instead of playing in the major, why don't you make it over? He's he like, might have oh, had a he might have had a PGL meeting. <laughs> yeah, PGL exactly. Uh, the Sauce Man's not uh, Sauce yeah. Man pulled out. Yeah. Uh, Eddie Pepperell's out. Lee yeah. Westwood. I, do we see Lee Westwood at all this year? I mean, uh, so after well, the return? not since the return. No, well, he was I'm playing. Saying, he saying, was playing we, well before. Yeah, I know. Are we well. gonna see him at all? Oh, I, are I we? I don't, I don't know. I don't either. Yeah, he he's definitely signed up for the PGL. Um, Thomas Peters, Y. E. Yang, and Shugo. Imahira. Mm-hmm. So, uh, so those are the notable pullouts. I'm a little disappointed we're not going to see John Daly out there. I mean, that's like he—I don't know—he ain't going to do anything necessarily. But uh, I mean, he's going to—he's going to show up and play golf. He's always a good time. Yeah. Uh, you know who I was? Uh, so uh, shout out to uh, Jim Furyk. Uh, he just won oh, yeah. his uh, Champions Tour debut. As he did. Um, and um, and what's his name won the uh, the CUDA? Um, oh yeah, uh, uh, Serinsky, uh, Sir, uh, Warinsky, Warinsky, yeah, Warinsky, yeah. Warinsky. And yeah. he was just in contention two weeks ago, right? At the three M, yeah, yeah, didn't have didn't have a good Sunday, but uh, he was right there in the three M. Warinsky was, yep, absolutely. Yeah, he, he was right there, yeah. yep. He, I think they led most of the way, both him yeah, and yeah. Uh, Michael. Yeah, he, yeah. he and uh, Thompson, for yeah. sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. He, uh, Warinsky got a case of the uh, Todds. Mm. Uh, yeah, know, but he, not, you know, not last week. Not last week. He got a victory, yeah, and that yeah. is a PGA Tour victory. I mean, that's yeah, good yeah, for him. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, so so I'm excited. Um, so you want to uh, you want to peel this thing back, man? Well, I think some of the notables you need to touch on. We need to touch on is this at Harding Park, right? So um, did you touch on the, the 2015 WG, WGC match play? I did not, but that's uh, that's a Fowler move. I mean, I'm sorry, that's a uh, a McElroy win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So McElroy won the T- WGC match play here at Harding Park yep. in 2015. In 20 in 2009, the Presidents Cup was played here. Team USA, Tiger Woods was the leading scorer, and then in 2005, the WGC Isn't this American where Tiger Ex- beat Daly in a playoff. Could have been. Could have been. And then 2005, the WGC American Express, Tiger won with minus 10. So. Uh, in terms of the recent, you know, not recent, but the the history here with this particular course, Tiger owns this place. Yeah, sure. And uh, and then Rory has played well here as well. So yeah, I'm I'm good now. I'm good now. But I did want to touch on that before we got into the, some of this our strategy here. 